Welcome to Maths by SARS. This is my second lesson of D3, chapter number 9, exercise 9b. That is about the bearings. In this uh, class, students will be discussing and solving basic level question number 1. And question 1 says, the figure shows the points O, A, B, C, and D. Uh, and the diagram is uh, shown in the question. And the requirement is point the bearing of A from O, B from O, C from O, and D from O. Okay, recall uh, my previous lesson, and uh, please recall that uh, how what are bearings and how to calculate the bearings. That uh, for the calculation of bearing, we can uh, keep the rule N, T, and C in our mind, and recall what is N, T, C. N means uh, the north, and T is that we have to give our answer to three uh, digits and C is the clockwise direction. So uh, let's move to the discussion of first question. The figure shows the position of O, A, B, C, and D. We have to find the bearing of A from O, okay. Now here, the important thing is that we have to keep in our mind that whatever word or the term is coming after word from, after word from, we have to start the movement from that point. We have to start the movement from that point. So uh, we have to find the bearing of A from O, and O is on the north line. So it means I have to start my movement from this point. I have to go clockwise, and I have to stop at the arm of O. And uh, this is uh, uh, the place where I have to reach. So you can see that I have just taken this 33 degrees turn. So bearing of A from O, A bearing of A, A from O, from O uh, equals to uh, 33 is the angular turn, but we know that we have to give our answer to three uh, digits. So uh, as this is an acute angle, so we'll be writing 0, 033 degrees. And then moving to the second part, that is bearing of B from O. Again, uh, recall that we from which point we have to start the movement. We have to start our movement uh, from the word, which is uh, coming afterward from, and that is O. And O is already on the north. So we have to start the movement from the north and we have to stop at B. So what we have to do, uh, we have to take uh, this much turn. Now recall uh, my uh, previous lesson that uh, this is the position uh, from north to east. It has a definite turn which is 90 degree and we have to take 20 degrees turn more. So bearing of uh, B from O, bearing of of B from O from O will be equal to look uh, this is uh, this total turn is of my 90 degree 90 plus uh, 28 and this is 8 uh, 8 plus 0 is 8 and 9 plus 2 is 11 180 degrees and coming to uh, the next part that bearing of C from O, okay. So it means that I have to start my movement, uh, my turn uh, clockwise from the north and I have to stop. I do not have to stop at this place. I do not have to stop at this place. Even I do not have to stop at this place and I have to uh, stop at this place. Bearing of C from O. Now look students that if I'm uh, taking this turn, uh, this is making a semicircle. Ge geometrical concepts have to be really good. This is 180 degrees, and uh, for the, this turn, now there are two ways of doing that. We know uh, that this whole turn is of my year 90 degrees. Either I can take away 44 uh, from 90, 90 minus 44, 10 minus 4 is 6, and 8 minus 4 is uh, 4. And I'm left with 46 degrees. Okay, now uh, 
one way is that we are going to um, take this turn plus this turn that is uh, varying of of c uh, from o equals to uh, 180 degrees plus uh, 46 degrees and this will give me uh, 0 plus 6 is 6, 8 plus 4 is 12 and 226 degrees or the other way is that as I need to stop at this place uh, and I have this complete turn with me that is up to uh, 70 degrees so what we can do is that 270 minus uh, 44 degrees and look students uh, that 10 minus 4 is 6 and 6 minus uh, 4 is 2 and 226 degrees in both ways it's coming the same and now what we have to do that we have to calculate the bearing of uh, D uh, this is uh, my fourth part bearing of D from O D uh, from O again start the movement uh, from the north and stop at what point okay uh, north this is the north this is the north and stop at point D okay now look now uh, what can we do either that uh, I have this almost complete turn with me so bearing of D from O will be 360 and the complete turn is of 360 degree mile 360 minus uh, 39 degrees and when I'm taking the weight 10, 10 minus 9 is 1 and 5 minus 3 is 2 and uh, this is uh, 321 let me confirm this 360 minus 39 360 minus 39 degrees and 321 degrees I hope you are really clear about this question and let's move to uh, the next question and the next question says the figure shows the position of uh, P, A, B and C and uh, we are given uh, with the diagram and we have to find the bearing, uh, different bearings. So uh, let's move to the discussion of the question. Recall the rule uh, for the bearings that what we have to do that uh, we have to apply NTC rule that we have to start the movement from north and uh, when uh, then we have to give our answer to uh, three digits and move in the clockwise direction bearing of A from P now uh, look at the diagram that P is on the north P is on the north so start the movement start the movement from the north of P and take a turn till the required point and now I have to take the stop at this place so it means I need to find this turn I need to find this turn now uh, recall that uh, uh, if I'm taking this whole turn it has some higher 90 degrees so uh, for a part bearing of of uh, the first is a from p a from p will be 90 minus 35 degrees degrees and uh, 10 minus 5 is 5 and I'm left with 8 8 minus 5 is 55 but recall that I have to give three digits so it will be 0 55 degrees I hope you are really clear about this moving to the second part and the second part says bearing of B from P bearing of B from P now what we have to do that we have to start the movement again from um, the north of P and we have to stop at the letter which is before word from so uh, I have to start the movement from this place and I do not have to stop at this place uh, but if I'm taking this turn this is a definite turn and it's 90 degree mile and now uh, this turn okay look if uh, I am completing this complete turn I'm taking this complete turn I'm taking a movement of semicircle which has the degrees 180 
but I need to stop at this line. I need to stop at this line. So varying of B uh, from P will be 180 degrees minus uh, 15 degrees and uh, now at this stage the calculations have to be very strong 10 minus 5 is 5 7 minus uh, 1 is 6 165 degrees okay uh, let me confirm the calculation 180 uh, minus uh, 15 is 165 degrees moving to the third part that is bearing of C from P bearing of C from P now look uh, we have to start the movement uh, from the word which is coming afterward from so we have to start the movement from P and we have to stop at uh, which point which is before word from so I have to take start the movement from this point this point this point and I have to cross this place and then I have to stop over here so you can see students carefully that this is east this is uh, north south east and west okay now uh, the angle between north and north e north and east is 90 degrees east and south is again 90 degrees so this total turn will be 180 and this is again 90 degrees uh, this is 270 but we do not have to stop at this place we have to take little more movement to reach at C. So it will become 270 plus uh, 47 uh, degrees and which will be 7, 7 and 4, 11 and uh, this will become 317 degrees. Okay, let me uh, reconfirm this. Uh, 270 plus, uh, pl plus 47 uh, is 270 plus uh, 47 uh, 317 degrees okay and moving to uh, the next part that is B part fourth part uh, P from A bearing of P from A now uh, this is uh, really important in technical point bearing of P uh, from A now which letter is coming afterward from focus on that letter uh, that is A. Now what we have to do? We have to start our movement from the north of A. Okay. As let me draw the compass at this place. Let me draw compass at this place. And now look children at what point I have to stop. First let me draw the north at this position. Uh, this is the north. Okay. Now I have to start the movement from uh, from A and I have to stop at P. So look students that if I am starting the movement clockwise, uh, this is not the position of A. I do not have to stop at this place. Uh, I have to take little more turn. I have to stop at this place. Okay. Bearing of P from A. Now look look carefully that uh, this is a semicircle it has the definite turn it is uh, 180 degrees but we do not know about this angle uh, okay now look uh, that north at P north at P this is P N and north at A north at A north at A they are parallel to each other and this is the transversal line now look uh, if I'm taking uh, moving my pen at this place this north and let me hold one pencil and uh, these two these two points are parallel to each other and this is the transversal this line P to A line is transversal and now uh, what we have to do that whatever is the angle that I've highlighted with orange color that will be the same as uh, this term let me mark with orange color so that my students can get the idea that this angle is same due to alternate angles so I hope now you are clear that what will be the bearing of P from A 
that is 180 plus uh, 55 degrees and now uh, this is uh, 5 8 and 5 is 13 and 235 degrees 180 plus 55 55 is 235 degrees I hope you are uh, clear about this question and let me move to the next part that is P uh, from B bearing of P from B and now uh, recall that at what point students I have to draw the compass I have to draw the compass uh, on the north of B okay let me draw the compass at this place uh, this is the compass okay uh, and I have to start the movement uh, from the north of B uh, look I'm starting the movement from this place and this place I do not have to stop at this place uh, I have to uh, reach at this place okay now look look carefully that uh, this north and this north they are parallel to each other and this is the transversal okay so whatever angle is over here same angle is over here this angle and this angle they are same so for uh, bearing of p from b p from b from b now look uh, i can take this total turn which is of 360 degrees except for this minor portion except for this minor portion and this will take the form 360 degrees uh, minus uh, 15 degrees and it will become 360 minus 15 is uh, 345 degrees 345 degrees okay now uh, the last part that is p from c now look students uh, which letter is coming afterward from that is c it means that i have to draw the compass at what place at c okay let me draw the compass at vertex c at point c and then uh, i have to take the turn north uh, from north and clockwise direction and i have to stop at the arm of uh, p now look this is north and i have to take the movement from this point to this point look uh, carefully if i have this complete turn with me it's a 180 degree mayor but i do not have uh, this turn with me so what can we do that we can see that this north and this north they are parallel to each other and this is the formation of z this is a formation of z so what can we do that whatever is the angle at this place whatever is the angle at this place same angle will be over here same angle will be over here so how to get that angle this is uh, one quadrant it has the total turn now 90 degrees so then 90 minus 47 is 43 degrees it means that this angle is of my year 43 degrees so in order to get the required bearing this angle will also be 43 degrees so that will be 180 minus uh, 43 degrees and then it will become 137 degrees okay I'm going really slow because this is one of the most important concepts of your O level examination and the questions of bearing uh, are coming uh, with trig uh, trigonometry as well and the locus and construction as well and they are coming as the independent question as well so that my students can watch and understand these all lessons uh, carefully uh, for especially for those students who have missed the previous class I'll be giving the link of the lesson in the description box because the lessons of mathematics requires continuous practice and integration of the lesson with the previous lesson if one uh, link and one lesson is weak the other uh, link uh, will also be affected so for better understanding of next lessons it's really important to watch this lesson and the next lesson and uh, 
for the better understanding you must have to keep uh, the role of NPC NPC not triggers and clockwise direction and alternate angle alternate angles uh, if uh, these three uh, points are clear to you then uh, the questions of bearing will not be difficult please watch my lessons like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much